Welcome to Bear, Delaware. This is a super small town just over the border from Maryland. And I'm here at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery and I'm here visiting the graves of a couple who were actually murdered here at this cemetery. It was an unbelievable story. So I'm gonna walk over and show you guys where all this transpired and I'm gonna show you guys the couple's graves. So the couple who were murdered here at this cemetery, their names were Paul Marino, who was 86, and his wife, Lydia Marino, who was 85. Um, they showed up here around 10.15 in the morning on May 8th, 2020. And they were here again to visit their son named Anthony Marino, who passed away in 2017. So they were here doing what they always did. I read that the Marinos came here literally every day. They came here to visit their son's grave. Unfortunately for them, a guy by the name of Sheldon Francis, who was 29, decided for whatever reason that he wanted to kill people. And so again, it was around 10, 15, 10, 20 or so in the morning, Sheldon Francis had a makeshift tent in the woods right over here. He built himself a makeshift tent where he had food, weapons, other supplies. And so he came out of the woods right there and walked this direction. And that is when he bumped into Paul and Lydia. Now it's unclear if Paul and Lydia even saw Sheldon coming out of the woods or coming up to them in general. But either way, he went up to Paul and shot him in the back of the head. And then he went and shot Lydia as well. Now Lydia was pronounced dead here on scene. Paul survived one day and he, he ended up dying in the hospital May 9th. But again, just so, so random, so bizarre. I mean, as you saw in the beginning, the intro, like just beautiful, little pond i mean it's a nice beautiful cemetery it's not in some sketchy area of a big city or anything like that i mean it's a small town you would not expect anything like this to happen they ended up being buried here literally a few hundred feet from where they were murdered they ended up being buried right next to their son So they're, they're buried right here, or at least their remains are, are left right here. But first, I wanted to show you guys this little thing. I didn't even see it until I walked by, but there's this little, little dedication to them. Dedicated in the memory of Paul and Lydia Marino. Greater love hath no one than this that one would lay their life down for another. That's a Bible verse, John 15, 13. So right here, this was Paul and Lydia's son, Anthony, who they were visiting as of course this is a veteran cemetery, so I'm assuming all of the people here are military in some fashion. But right next to their son is Paul and Lydia. And like I said, Lydia died on scene the same day that Paul lasted one more day in the hospital before he succumbed to his injuries.
Now the article I read said that they were murdered somewhere between the cemetery entrance and the grave or final resting place of their son. So it looks like they were either just leaving, visiting him, and were heading out, or they were just about to get into the cemetery. Maybe they parked kind of where I am and were walking towards his grave. It doesn't really say for sure. Now, after killing Paul and Lydia, he retreated into the woods back to his makeshift camp. Police, of course, swarmed this area and cornered him in the woods, there's like a like a housing estate development on the other side. And so they kind of penned him in the woods between the cemetery here and that neighborhood or, or estates. Now I read that Sheldon ended up firing at least 78 rounds at the officers. The officers had a bulletproof vehicle. They drove it as far into the woods as they could and that vehicle sustained tons and tons of damage, but thankfully no officers were harmed. Um, a couple officers with some rifles, they ended up shooting and killing Sheldon Francis. So some close family members disclosed some information about Sheldon Francis and again, his mind state at the time of the murders. And they said that he was apparently extremely paranoid about getting COVID as again, this happened May, 2020. So a few months after COVID essentially hit America, Francis he used to work at Amazon. And I guess there was a couple outbreaks there at the warehouse he worked at, but uh, workers said that the last time they saw Sheldon Francis there at work, he seemed perfectly fine. Now police said that Sheldon had kind of stacked his shots, if you will, while shooting at the bulletproof vehicle that was, you know, driving into the forest. And so it kind of gives some insight into, like he knew what he was doing. Like it sounded like he had some training potentially with shooting guns. It's blistering hot here. It's like 95 degrees. I am dying, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out of here. Again, if you're new around here and you enjoy these kind of videos where I go to the actual locations, go to the actual graves, make sure you subscribe. But I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. And of course, rest in peace to both Paul and Lydia, and of course their son.